Hello and welcome back. Yes, this video is your main build of the kit. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm just super gluing the main cockpit into the starboard side of the fuselage using super glue and an old airbrush needle. Now, once it's in, all I do is use a bit of kicker or accelerator just to harden the glue a lot quicker, which will enable me to do things a lot quicker and to crack on with the rest of the bits. Yeah, anyway. All nice and icy, all in, no problems at all. Now, point to note, uh, you've got a circuit breaker uh, board that goes onto the port side. Now, what I would do is, is actually test fit the cockpit first before you glue it. I didn't, and I glued it in the wrong place. <clears throat> nice one, Lenny. Right then, on to uh, the fuselages. Now, I didn't actually film myself doing it um, because it's pretty self-explanatory and it's not rocket science. However, all I'll say is it fits really well and with a bit of glue, you can't go wrong, believe it or not. Anyway, all I need to do now is to follow the instructions and I can put on uh, the rest of the bits and pieces as in the spine and the rear plate um, for the actual fuselage, which I'm doing now. So I'm gonna shut up, you can listen to some heavy metal music and yeah, I'll be cracking on. And just in case you were wondering, um, when you put the spine on, like I'm doing right there, you would think, oh, is it going to fit? Is it going to do this? Uh, it's perfect. Literally, it's perfect. You just pop it on and just carefully glue um, in and around to the actual anchor points. And you can't go wrong. Fantastic. Okay, the actual gun mount, um, which is a one piece, um, just literally just pops in with a bit of sort of like jiggery pokery. It does actually just click in. And the simple thing is just to run some glue around it and it's job done. Okay, next thing is to prep for the nose cone. Now, all I did was basically just run some glue in and around, making sure that A, the gun mount is secure, and then putting on for the anchor points. Now, these type of aircraft are notoriously um, iffy uh, when you put the nose cone on, as in sort of like there's gaps or it doesn't go on right or X, Y, and Z. With this kit, mm, none of the above. You just pop it on, you just jig it around just to make sure that everything is square and matches the um where the gun emplacement is and that's it you just leave it and it's yeah look job done i've done nothing to that apart from glue it ace so just glow the top of the uh tail on which i believe's got like ecm and other really technical stuff Anyway, that went on, no problem at all. Um, really happy with that. And this time, all I'm doing is just popping on, I believe, is the cooling fans base, I think. Or cooling something. I don't know what they are. But anyway, they're on. Um, again, not a problem. Okay, on to the engines. Now, all I've done is I've painted the insides of them black and yeah, apart from the bits that you can see, uh, that's all I've done for the actual painting. Um, if I was to display one of the engines, which you can in the kit, um, you've got to say that Zuckerberg have really thought about it. Now, when you put the actual engines together, there is absolutely minimal cleanup um, to do. 
and even when the actual when you put the engines together you, you know, you've got the castings or the rib like things on the outside of the engine again it's minimal cleanup so Zucker Murray good job there mate anyway right all I'm doing is using AK Extreme Metals now on the bits that you can see or will be able to see at some point uh, which is the engine parts of the fans and compressor fans and etc again AK Interactive Extreme Metals using aluminium okay then so putting the engine together um, as you can see i've already done one uh, and it is quite a simple affair um, all you're doing is a follow the instructions and b um, we've got the uh, pointing lugs you just pop it in and stick some glue in and it fits perfectly so not a lot i can say about that Okay, so just putting the two engine parts together, and again, you're just running some glue just down the uh, the actual anchor points, and it is just a normal, everyday, fantastic fit. What can I say? Anyway, hang on a minute, right? Someone asked me this, um, how was the actual fit of the kit so far as I'm doing it now? Um, and I can actually put it to this. It's very much like making love to a beautiful woman. <laughs> Unzip the door, put up your pole and slip into the old bag. Yep, pretty much. Okay, assembling and painting the actual intakes. Um, all I've done is I started off uh, painting it sort of like a, a, well, a flat black, and then proceeded to use traffic white um, from uh, Hataka's range, and basically do some light coats just to begin with, and then going in with some more heavier coats just to make it a bit more prominently white. Now, um, if you wanted to make the intakes seamless, that's entirely up to you. Um, I didn't um, because unless you're going to crane your neck and have a look deep inside excuse me um, yeah you're not going to see it so I didn't actually bother with it um, but again it's entirely up to yourself now there you go you can see the actual uh, intakes together and there is a, like a faint line of the seam as it's going down again I didn't bother with it you can if you want um, but yeah I was happy just to leave it as it is Right then, let's stick things together. Right, basically it'll be the intakes and the engines going into the lower uh, fuselage and wings. Now, all I'll suggest is follow the instructions. Uh, they do show you um, very well where things need to go. Uh, but if you need to do it just slightly off the instructions, then that's fine, uh, because that's what I had to do. Is basically sort of like put the intakes in first and then the actual framing, which is just the, well, just the left there of my hand. Um, once it's in, it is in, if you know what I mean. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, so yeah, it is nice and it's safe and it, it is secure. Um, so yeah, again, so can worry, well done for that one. Okay, then fixing the actual engines in, um, it's a very simple affair. Um, you basically, you've got two lugs, one on each end, you marry it up, and yeah, oops, you just slot it in. <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, it is a very simple affair. It's the same thing, you just, yeah, follow the instructions and it is brill, it really is. Yeah, don't get me wrong about my enthusiasm. Um, yeah, there's only so many times you can say it's a really fantastic fizzing kit. 
because it is. Anyway, moving on. Um, basically, just putting into uh, the undercarriage, um, sort of like walls. Again, just pop it in, slip of glue, job done. Now, the big one, putting everything together. Now, I inadvertently, as Rob will probably tell everyone, hi Rob, um, yeah, I forgot to actually film the whole thing, um, putting it all together. So what you're seeing here is just mm -hmm. theatrics on my account, well, on my account really. I'm pretending to glue it because I forgot to film it, sorry. But what can I say? Believe it or not, it's an excellent fitting kit. Yeah. So there you go. It is awesome. Buy one, get one, build one, finish it, decal it, do whatever. Just buy a kit. It is fantastic. So yeah, another thing that can be uh, problematic on these types of kits are the actual intakes, as in the outsides. Now, um, what Zucker Murray have done is basically made it a multi-part affair and yeah it fits rather nice anyway um yeah all i'm doing now is i'm putting in one of the veins um from the side of the actual uh, intakes i did actually prime it with some sky gray and now what i'm doing it is i'm airbrushing it a dark ghost gray i think was it light ghost gray one of the two anyway it was light ghost gray and literally just popping in getting all it all sorted out and yeah gluing them in Point to note though, um, when you actually are doing this, don't use too much glue because you don't want the actual thing to seep through uh, into your nicely painted intake. Um, the way that it goes together, it doesn't need a lot of glue. So, so yeah, so just bear that in mind. Oh yes, before you actually glue it onto your main kit, you've got, dun dun dun, yeah, some ejector pin marks. Damn you, Zuckamuri. Anyway, yeah, get rid of those first. And all I did was stick some rocket glue uh, into the actual apertures and just use the kicker or the accelerator just to, well, yeah, dry it off rather quickly. And yeah, sand it down and it's job done. Okay, now finishing off, um, just basically gluing um, the bits to pieces together. Now with the intake, yep, I sanded it all down and painted it the fuselage color, which is a dark ghost gray. And the, the actual wingtips themselves, um, they are a four part affair. Basically two, um, two bits together. We've got the, the front part and the side part, yeah. You really know what you're talking about, lady, don't you? Yes, I do. Anyway, fitting the intake. Now, just pop it on. Mm, does it fit well? Um, uh, yeah, come on. Yeah. Guys, when you're doing it, just take your time. Um, it is quite a tight fit. But once it pops in, again... Once it goes in, it is nice and safe and secure. It does take, well, took me a little while just to like work out uh, that it actually just, yeah, it just actually slots in. And if I remember rightly, you do get quite a nice little click. See, look, I'm still at it. Bloody hell, Lenny. Right, there you go. You do get a nice satisfying click and it is just a question of a quick tap of glue and you can leave it well alone. As you can see there, you put the ends of the wings on 
Um, yeah, you slot it in, bit of glue. <laughs> That's it, finished. Yay. So yeah, you can sort of like agree now that it's proper looking like a phantom. Oh, that was quick. Now, yeah, the other one. Again, just slot it in. But again, try not to use too much glue because what you don't want to do is have the glue seep out and ruining the actual engraving of the panel lines and rivet detail. So yeah, there you go. I'm just popping on now um, one of the slats and also you can have uh, the slats deployed as well. Now also that does apply with uh, the flaps and as you can see there I've got those deployed. Mm, very good. Again very nicely done it is just a case of just slot it in and glue and it's really that simple so yeah there you go guys that's pretty much the whole of the main fuselage body everything done so it's just now prepping for paint so as you can see i've used the um closed down um canopy bit basically to use as a mask just so I don't get any overspray actually inside the cockpit. And as you can see there, you've got the elevators and they're all sorted. And again, following instructions is very, very self-explanatory. So yeah, now the next video will be the painting stage. Cool. Yeah, so just reiterate, painting stage next. The kit is fabulous. It fits well and yeah, it's very much like making love to a beautiful woman. <laughs>